Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. A good run last time? I liked it at least. Why are you feeling so framey right now? There we go. It worked itself out. I'm starting to think, I mean I hesitate to say this because it is, oh, Capricorn Book of Secrets? That's pretty good. RSJYM76M. Perfect. I hesitate to even say this because it's going to implant the idea. It's going to incept the idea in some people's heads, but this computer might be reaching its last legs, you know, it might be... Might be getting to the point. Well, it's last legs from a recording standpoint. Um, it still handles it pretty well. It lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. Like I, I didn't think that this would end up being a work computer for like three years. I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. It was a good. Uh, I don't want to say return on my investment. That puts it as cyn cynically as possible. But it would, you know, it was nice to buy it and never have to worry about. Uh, you know, whether or not it would be able to record and play stuff. That was just a terrible bit of damage on my part there. Um, but yeah, it might be time to to pick up something new. Maybe in May or June, we'll see. Which is exciting, I shouldn't sound so... But I'm attached to I'm attached to this, you know, I've got some sentimental memories of this computer. But anyway, last run, I had some sentimental memories of that as well. We played pretty well. Okay, if you charted our performance, it started out pretty terribly. Uh, and then it got pretty solid when we were in glass cannon territory. I was having a great time there. Then we rerolled our whole run and turned it into a, a run that was easier to win than to lose. But I'm still relatively pleased that we, um, you know, relatively proud of myself even that we we did win it because it could have been a loss uh, given the kind of like self harming abilities that it had in it. Fire mind stuff like that. Um, I'll admit that maybe this is my my time to finally understand how Book of Secrets works. I believe it gives you a random map effect. It might not be random, but it gives you a map effect or a mapping item effect every time you use it. So, the first time it gave us like blue map. The next time it could give us compass or regular map. So I think that was regular map. And then the next time, maybe it has to give us compass, but admittedly I'm not 100% sure. That being said, Shears is a lot better. Uh, Shears is a dark horse candidate, I think, for best spacebar item in the game. I don't think it is quite the best spacebar item in the game, but I think it's maybe number three. I mean that sincerely. Like, I think it might be behind Book of Belial and Satanic Bible. It, I, I kind of exempt the D6 from it because it's. It, I feel like it's in its own special category, which is not fair to say, but... Okay, let's put it this way then. It's probably top five. It's it's really, really good. Oh, I didn't even realize we were on an XL floor, so I should really be... Virgo's pretty good too, but I should really be trying not to uh, take red heart damage. Which is actually... It's going to be very helpful to have uh, Shears then, which is basically going to destroy one boss without my influence even mattering. Uh, I will just stay the heck away from that. Now, I would imagine that with one bomb, we can probably get two cents out of one of these combinations of six pots over here. The only question is, you know, do we want to do that when there could just be a Tinted Rock around? We'll see. I might like to have another, uh, ooh, two of clubs, huh? Tell you what. Try this. Pop this. There's our two cents. So if we wanted to, we could buy another Spirit Heart, which I don't think is a bad idea. Let's go try that on for size. There's no Spirit Heart. There is sharp plug for pretty cheap though, so I was I was gonna do this anyway, but we'll come back and we'll place uh, our second to last bomb right here. I'm not using the hermit card because it's it's more useful to us if we can get the teleportation use out of it as well. Very dumb damage on my part there, but hey, Virgo, there we go. Shouldn't have taken that hit though, so we're gonna take sharp plug. I don't know if I'll end up using it. We'll see. And if we get more money, I'd like to buy that pill. You know, we have Virgo, so pills are not going to be bad. Not quite the same as saying pills are guaranteed to be good, but you get the idea. Oh! Okay, we could save a bomb. Get out of here, green man. Whatever. Yeah, I'll just blow you up. I'll use my own bomb. This is too tedious for me. Oh! There we go. I was gonna use my own bomb, but hey, we picked up two anyway. That's pretty useful. Probably shouldn't have picked it up yet, but I'm very confident that we will not take damage in the process here. Famine fight is the easier of the two, if I had to guess. Just because we could have a haunt fight next, so I will be using shears on um, whatever our next room is, even if it's pin. And then we'll get a deal with the devil as well. So hopefully our next boss drops some HP or some spirit arts, because this one is going to be dropping a cube of meat. Doesn't give me that much fuel for a deal with the devil, but this is an above average... Uh, 
Eden start for sure. The Capricorn pickup and Book of Secrets, both useful. It is the Haunt, so we'll pop this. And uh, I'm not saying we're going to hide or anything like that, but we'll let Shears do most of the dirty work. But it will help out whenever we can. There we go. All right, Shears, come up here. Easy. Way better than Krampus's head, even. All right, so we got a speed ball. Lovely. And Mom's knife. I know we had this on the last run. I'm taking it anyway. Take it up with the game's RNG. I guess we're just going to head down to the next floor. That was super fast. This is a one run. We're in glass cannon territory again. I don't know why all of a sudden we're getting like all of these uh, duplicate payouts. You know, lots of lots of brimstone runs in a row, lots of mom's knife runs in a row. But you know, it this is Isaac. It comes in fits and spurts. We get um, like a lot of uh, you know we had that that scenario or that that period where we got magic mushroom like every single run. People were going, "What the fuck, man? How did you get magic mushroom every single run?" Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't know. The secret is just RNG, man. Ah, oh, now I kind of wish we hadn't taken it because we got Death's Touch, but the extra damage is nice as well. I thought this was another XL floor. Bombs are key. Uh, it's not great for me in this situation, but it's, it's okay. So our damage is going to be through the roof now. At least Mom's Knife, unlike Vanilla, actually has synergies associated with it, so... You can be bent out of shape with it, you know? I, I hate to come from the position where I'm like, if you're mad, you shouldn't be mad, you know? I, I'd listen to the community. Believe it or not, you know, people have, some people at least have a tendency to think that I just completely ignore uh, what people say to me, but I do listen to the community, and you guys are the reason I'm here. That being said, I do love Mom's Knife as well. It's, you know, knowing what's good for you and knowing what feels good, I guess, you know? Like, I know chicken nuggets aren't good for me, but I still eat them. I think we all do, for, to some extent, you know? Mom's knife is my is the chicken nuggets of Isaac. Left hand is great for us. We already have one guppy item. Um, this will facilitate more in the future. Admittedly, it's a little weird because we have uh, guppy's tail and left hand, and I'm pretty sure what that means for us is that uh, what that means for us is that we'll get a lot of red chess. I think that the left hand supersedes guppy's tail. But it might mean that we just get more chests in general as well. Like, we might get more than average as a result of having two of these. I'm not sure if they affect the spawn rate of the chest item as it is. Anyway, I am uh, I'm guilty of too good to use syndrome right now. I am saving... Oh my god, this is incredible. <laughs> I'm saving uh, the Shears card for a, a rainy day, a.k.a. our boss fight. And this Two of Spades card is going to help us out a ton. I really had a, an inkling... That that was actually just gonna win the day for us right there. Now we got a lot of this. You can do it! You can't do it. My own fault. If we get Mom's Knife, Guppy, and like 4th level Me Boy, I will crap my pants here. This is amazing. So this is our Krampus fight. It's gonna be easy anyway. Um, and Krampus' head, well what did I say? I said that Krampus' head is not as good as, uh, as the Shears, and I believe it! All we do is win. Oh, I meant that. We the best. Oh, I meant that. For now, though, let's see if we can maybe find a... <laughs> I mean, it's, it seems foolish to even finish this sentence now, but I was like, maybe we'll find a Tinted Rock. You think there's one on this room? No, but there is a Spirit Heart, so who's laughing now, fuck boys? All right, down to the next floor. Uh, we could go to the Secret Room, but uh, I'm, I'm not overly concerned about it. I would love to pick up the goat head, just to make this guppy dream happen as soon as possible. You know what? As much as I love the shears, I would get rid of the shears for Book of Revelations to try to snag a fourth level meat boy here, just because it would be ridiculous. Let's try this out. You want me to reroll my whole run? Not to mention, I had Mom's Knife on the last run, but I rerolled it. Don't forget about that. And I've been doing that a lot recently. Have a Brimstone run, reroll it, you know? Just get a little taste of Brimstone. That's like having two Chicken McNuggets on top of a salad, you know? It's, it's not necessarily the most uh, appetizing delicacy. You'd probably rather just have like a 10 piece or something like that, but it's a start. McDonald's gets a bad rap, man. Oh, McDonald's isn't real food. Excuse me, there are a lot of very talented food scientists that spend a lot of time in food science school to manufacture those meals, okay? And they don't deserve your disrespect. They have a PhD in olfactory, you know, manipulation. And you're just, you're shitting on them. 
cooking school. Who goes to cooking school to learn how to cook? It's all molecular gastronomy these days, Heston Blumenthal. Now, admittedly, I'm a little scared. Not only by the the speed at which that rant exited my brain hole, but um, HP, man. It would be nice to have more of it. And if we could actually pay for some spirit hearts, I, oh, never mind. I would love to. Uh, Book of S whatever that one was. Book of Shadows, there we go. Not Book of Secrets, which we already had on this run. Uh, Book of Shadows is pretty sweet. Let's see if we become guppy before we reroll our whole run. We do. Don't be mad. It's only game! Why you have to be mad? We're gonna reroll our whole run here, but I want to get Cricket's head first. Oh, no, I, oh, I shouldn't have taken it. Whatever, let's see what we got. We're still guppy. It's like Monstro's lung. Um, Gimpy, obviously. Revenge fly, obviously. My reflection? It's a weird one. Let's put it that way. And this is why I'm not going to tolerate any bullshit mom's knife complaints, because we've been trading that shit away as quickly as we get it here. Oh, the Fallen. I love you. Now, it's weird, but every time we trade away Mom's Knife, we apparently get Monstro's Lung. It's just a coincidence, I'm, I'm very confident, but still, it's kind of funny. Thank you, Flies. One more, maybe? Wow, it held up there more than I thought you would. Oh, let's trade away some HP. Come trade away, come trade away, come trade away your HP. We got a Horror of Babylon there. Uh, combined, uh, was that Missing Page 2 or Contract from Below? I think it was Contract from Below. Um, but the Horror of Babylon pickup is nuts, you know, our damage is gonna be through the freaking roof here. This is almost, and I, you know, it sounds cocky, but it, it's a seed that I would consider almost unlosable. It seems like there's like 40 different paths to success that you can take on this run. Which is nice, it's, I'm not gonna complain about it, it's a great situation to be in. I don't really want to take Maggie's bow because it's gonna fuck with our, um, the Horror of Babylon. Sitch. Not sure how I feel about this monstrous lung situation, but it's okay. Can't believe we're we're basically like a full floor ahead of where we need to be time-wise, and I'm doing enough damage. Ah! <laughs> well, I don't have to fill it up at least. I'm doing enough damage that I. Uh, I think I would do boss rush actually. What do you think? Second secret room. I think that would have found it if it was there. Do we have rubber cement? No. Just a weirdly timed, it's kind of my reflection return there. Alright, Curse of the Blind. We got nine minutes if we want to get into boss rush. I think that's fairly conceivable. Is that like another Guppy item? Guppy's Paw. And actually, we don't have a spacebar item. So Guppy's Paw is pretty excellent for us. We can hold on to it. And uh, this makes it very easy to stay in our Horror of Babylon state if that's the kind of thing that we might desire. And you know what? I think it might be. That hurts. That was dumb damage, but it's okay. Alright, 11 and a half minutes. I think that we are going to get to and do boss rush. I'm excited by the prospect, unless we get a very convenient teleport card. Um, why not use one Joker card right now? Abaddon. I'll take it. I'm happy we used our Joker card there. Now I would like... Uh, Piercing shots. You always want piercing shots, Monstro's Lung. Even if it comes in the form of dead onion or something, that's fine by me. No soy milk. Shoop the whoop. Just in time. What an incredible item. Uh, let's try it out. Nine volt. It's fine. Habit. It's fine. Uh, I'll even buy the spirit heart here as well. I hope at this point, you know, you don't need me to play up some fake dialogue. Will they or won't they? Can Northern Lion bring it to the hole on this run? Oh, Northern Lion can bring it to the hole, baby. He doesn't know what to do with it when he gets there, but he is capable of locomoting in its general direction. Spoonbender would be cool as well, although I don't know if it would supersede to some extent my reflection or if they'd interact in some bullshit way that would make me real angry. But uh, yeah, th this is for sure a one run. The question becomes, how one can it be? We could probably afford to get rid of... Uh, left hand if we wanted to right now. We don't have that many keys though, so you know, maybe it's not that big of a deal. The cage fight. This is a good moment to test our damage, which I'm assuming is incredible, and there it goes. Yet another deal with the devil, which we've already seen. Magic scab I don't want, but 
Awaz rune. See if we get a black market there. Nope. Uh, so we're going to use this to put ourselves back in Horror Babylon State. And because we can, we're going to explore a little bit more. We're still about three and a half minutes ahead of where I would normally consider myself to want to be to still do Boss Rush. So it's definitely like, you know, <laughs> it's going to happen. This is like our fifth guppy item. Oh, that's Pandora's box, actually. Depths one is just uh, Spirit Hearts. I think we should take Pandora's box with us instead of Guppy's Paw. There's uh, there's good arguments to be made on both sides. My, well, I'm not going to make them for you. <laughs> my, uh, my thinking is that it's just more fun. Like, Guppy's Paw is a little bit better strategically, but even if we fall out of our Horror Babylon state accidentally with like a Curse of the Blind HP upgrade, it doesn't really matter that much. Like, we're still going to win. Pandora's Box could give us like a Godhead or something, which would be incredible. It could also give us a Holy Water, which is mostly meaningless, but, you know, that's that's the risk you take. Guppy's Paw has a more static uh, impact, whereas Pandora's Box has a more variable impact, and I think that's a little bit more exciting, all things considered. So where was our Pandora's box? Was that up here? I think it was up here. Goodbye, Guppy said. You've been good. Ten lives. So that is like nine lives plus. We must have picked up an Ankh, a one-up, or a Judas' Shadow, or a Lazarus' Rags. All right, let's head down to the next floor. This Joker card is what we're going to use in the Cathedral as well. Still, that was a very fast one. We're at uh, 14 minutes. Still two full minutes ahead of where I want to be, and I am doing, or where, where I need to be. And I am doing my due diligence here. If you use Pandora's box on Boss Room, it should give you four item pedestals. Think about it, Ed and Tyrone. Think about it. It's, it's a reward. Okay, we seriously, we're getting all the guppy items here. I'm not mad about it. We actually, all we need now is Hairball, I think. We had Collar earlier. Easy room, easy life. We should start to think about, um, ugh. We should start to think about uh, dropping the left hand. That's the boss room already? Jeez. Um, I don't want to take advantage of this already. I want to make sure we're exploring a little bit more. Because I have the time. Why wouldn't I? We have Curse, no, we, we don't have Curse of the Blind on this floor, right? We have Curse of Darkness. Right! That, that was probably a pretty obvious one that I should have gotten there. That's like one more Amnesia Pill and a 48-hour energy. We can probably get away on this floor without going to our shop, and we're already at the HP cap, so I don't know what else I'll be looking for. Fucking holy mantle, man. When it rains, it pours, I guess. Let's drop the left hand. I'm ready. It's done good for us. It's done right by us. Let's get the hell out of here. Whoa! I clearly don't remember the proper way to go. Double Magician card. So our item I guess we went up. And then right. And we'll fight our boss rush and it'll be over relatively quickly. We'll pick up whatever good items we can there. Obviously we'll take the... Um, we'll take the... Uh, Polaroid from our mom fight. Card against humanity. Two of clubs. A black card. Eh, that's okay. I thought we'd be able to do it in one hit. It looks like it's actually going to be like three. So clearly my damage just sucks. We did get a deal with the devil, which I was hoping for. Let's take Polaroid. More synergies the better. Razor Blade, not at all what I'm looking for. And these all kind of suck, but I'll take Rainbow Baby. And now I'm taking it so that we can get, uh, so that we can get a better item when this finishes, hopefully. We don't have a great boss rush build because we're knocking the enemies around like crazy here, but... You know, we're still going to get through it relatively quickly. It's my thinking anyway. Mostly thanks to the flies. Good stuff, alright. We're going to hang out mostly in the middle. Depends on the wave, but... You know, we can take down an enemy like Duke of Flies super easy in that fashion. If we can get Pete before he jumps, it makes our life a lot easier. Really, I'm just worried about the, the normal shitty enemies, you know. Our, our run is not so different than, than an average run on, that we're doing boss rush on. Um, it's very different than an average run. <laughs> we, we've gotten a little bit more of an advantage in several different categories than an average run, but... Um, we, we don't need to worry about specific enemy types. It's just the, the, the general ones that are still frustrating. I can't believe we didn't one-shot Larry Jr. there. 
we don't really have a weakness. Like, it, it sounds a little cocky, but, you know, sometimes you're like, multiple enemies. Like, if you have Epic Fetus, fighting enemies that spawn enemies is super annoying. Or if you have, uh, you know, Soy Milk, fighting one enemy with a lot of HP can be annoying, I guess, if you, if you don't have piercing shots and you end up knocking them around a lot. Um, in this situation, we don't really have to deal with that shit. Like, we're, we're pretty much all around badasses here. I think we still have Holy Mantle going on this one. This is an annoying wave, admittedly. I should always try to take out Monstro 2 first, because he's by far the more annoying of the two. He can hit you from across the screen. But I guess that maybe he also has less HP. He has less HP when you focus him down, at least it feels that way. Come on, I'm doing this all for like one incredible item. There's Holy Mantle gone. Give me the item that I desire. Give me like Polyphemus after this is all over. Now we have uh, the Hollow. Yeah. The Husk and the Hollow. And the Silver Spoon. Little Boy Blue and the Man in the Moon. This is the... The second shittiest one, I think, after the, the Death Wave. Even like Fallen Pony is a little easier than, than those two. Death, it's just because of the Scythes, though. It's not like he's actually that annoying. Ooh, a little risky there. And there we go, I took some damage, but Virgo's gonna sort us out. Or maybe that's that's not Virgo, that's just permanent Polaroid invincibility. We lost Virgo. Alright, and now we have Revenge Fly. Maybe I should have gotten hit earlier, it would have sped things up a little bit. But still a pretty quick boss rush, all things considered. This is the third to last wave, it is now over. This is the uh, second to last wave. The hard part of it is now over, although I did take damage afterwards anyway. And it's the last wave. If you kill the Fallen last, you should get a deal with the Devil item. I don't know why I'm trying to buff Boss Rush, but... One of these days. Look, Fire Bombs was like definitely not worth it. <laughs> oh well. There's some money on the ground, I don't really care. Where the heck is our exit here? There we go. Let's, uh, let's head down to the next floor. Again, this is an unlosable run, not to be cocky, but... You know, every once in a while you get it, you gotta call uh, you gotta call it like you see it here. The only thing that really we could use, a faster rate of fire so we could basically tap shoot would be incredible. So if we get like torn photo toothpicks, something like that. Um, I'm not taking cursed skull. Potential to backfire is too high. Uh, more keys would be lovely. Apart from that, you know, we're pretty much set. I mean, we're, we're still 100% set no matter what, but all I ask is maybe like a Godhead Sacred Heart on the uh, Pandora's box in the Cathedral. And then inside of our, uh, you know, Cathedral Devil Room, maybe you could give me just like raw damage. Mark, Pact, and Pentagram or something. Still salty I didn't manage to pick up the Pentagram last run, because it would have killed us. Well, it would have contributed to our deaths. Actually, very happy to have those extra spirit hearts. Thank you. Game, you're being pretty generous. I appreciate it. I'm going to use bombs or key. A little more nervous about our keys than I am about our bombs. I think Loki dies in one hit, pretty much. Chubb, I'm very sorry about this. You did. If none of the other ones stood a chance, you were just fucked from birth, which it sounds gross. It's also the subtitle of the newest Kingdom Hearts game. Actually, the subtitle of the newest Kingdom Hearts game is 3, so... Let's get out of that room and never return. Thank you, Holy Mantle. Keep forgetting we have Holy Mantle. It's basically just like, hey, is your run not overpowered enough already? Try Holy Mantle on for size. There's, you know, arguably the best trinket in the game. Depending on, you know, situationally at least, one of the best trinkets in the game. Curved Horn is, is incredible. Now, you know what would make this even better? Piercing shots so that Curved Horn could affect multiple enemies at the same time. Was was hoping that we'd find a tinted rock there. Mostly I just want small rock, but but it wasn't a rock. I guess we'll go to the left, but I'm getting a sneaking suspicion that I'm just in dead end territory. Keys coming through here in the clutch for us. Yeah, it's not looking great now. Tears down. Annoying. Bad gas. Could be worse. Tears down. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, it looks like we have to go down and around here. So one of these rooms is chock full of fucking explosives. Be careful about that. I think it might be the next room on our left. 
Oh, yes. That's a troll bomb! But Holy Mantle protected us. Got a little nervous there. Maybe this room? No, okay. Must have been further back. I'll go to the curse room because we have Holy Mantle, so... Well, I'll, I'll continue to go to the curse room because we have Holy Mantle, so... Why wouldn't we? Pretty unlikely that we're going to get hit by like six spiders at this point in our Isaac career, I'd say. Alright, good stuff. Don't really want petrified poop. Not as much as I want the curved horn anyway. Double Loki, this is just sad. They're sending out an amateur to do a professional's job. Where's Conquest? Wow. No, that's like our first one in forever with no deal with the devil. And it's regular HP. Disappointing. I think the game's starting to pump the brakes a little bit. It says, maybe we made Northern Line a little too powerful on this run. No. That's just ridiculous. Have to imagine there's probably a Tinted Rock on this room. Just the fucking law of large numbers. But I gave it a cursory glance and I don't see one. Oh, there is one. No small rock, though. It's okay. I, I would look for, uh, you know, ten seconds there to try to get small rock. Doesn't bother me at all. I'm very excited, you know, the cathedral's gonna be a good one for us. Thank you for not making me reroll my whole run. I know we could not use two bombs for this, we can get away with only using one, but it doesn't matter. Effectively speaking. That's a lot of money. Do we have mom's key? Like, those chests paid out a little bit more than I expected. Full health. Tears down, again. Yeah, I got a spirit heart by using that key. Not such a stupid idea now, was it? That was a, still an accident where the HP cap, but at least I'm somewhat vindicated, you know, just due to luck. Health up, not interested at all. Not yet, anyway. I hate that those guys can still hit you even as they're dying. Another annoying room here. I'm telling you, man, range up piercing shots. Or actually, shot speed up to increase our effective range so that uh, my reflection didn't kick in until a little later. That's the recipe for greater success in this run. But oh, man, we're almost at the cathedral. We got the deal with the devil and we got the Pandora's box. I'm very excited. What a fast run, too. Okay. This Pandora's box, Sacred Heart or Godhead? Sacred Heart, Godhead. Sacred Heart, Godhead. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, Joker card. I don't even know what I want. Dark Bomb? I mean, it's... Shouldn't have picked that up. It's good, but it's also just... So boring. I don't need your HP. I want your damage. Oh, well. Um, I'm... At this point, I'm inconsolable. I, uh... I was hoping for some great damage. Could have taken this run up to, like, you know, top 5% most damage I've ever done territory. But, uh... I guess it wasn't meant to be. We'll still see what we get on the chest. We can get some high damage upgrades there. But I know Dark Bum is missing a lot of hearts because I'm not letting him pick them up. We have Holy Mantle. We're almost at the HP cap. Like, have mercy. We're not going to get hit very often anyway. If we end up dying, we come back literally ten times. So, like, if we end up losing this run, you got me, alright? If we end up losing on this run, I will, I will bow down to your, you know, supplanting of my own ignorance. If he could pay out with small rock, I'd be a little bit more interested in what he's, you know, selling right now. But as for right now, you know, I don't think Dark Bum really, I don't think there's too much tension on this run. That's what I should say. So we got hit by Holy Mantle. Well, we got hit Holy Mantle saved us there. I figured this might be a shortcut to help us get to the boss room. One of these directions will be a shortcut. It's just a question of whether or not it was this one. I don't know why, but I'm really feeling like D100, D4 on the chest. Or, you know, Missing No in the secret room or something like that. It doesn't feel like they're going to be, like, th them, you know. The, the mystical them of Isaac. It doesn't feel like they're going to be happy on this run until I, I re-roll it. Because it's already, like, so powerful. That's my, just my hunch. Take forever with the death animation. Hey, uh, no curses. That's awesome. We still don't know where we're going, but at least we know how to get there now. And again, I love the discourse with Mega Fatty. You're like, this is a good way to test how much damage you're doing. I think we're doing a decent amount of damage, if I had to, if I had to guess. 
pretty confident it's going to be this way because it's the only option. Could take damage on this room. We're on damage watch. Yeah, we'll take one with us just in case we get... It sounds ridiculous, but we'll take one with us just in case we get 26 red or uh, golden chests. In which case, we'll be happy to have it. Could be a good tarot card here. Could be a rune. Could be a Yara rune. Mm. Could also be Bob's Rotten Head. Could be a Yara rune. Could be a... Joker card. Okay, we'll take that instead to get a deal with the devil on the next floor. Little chance for redemption after getting kind of a shitty deal with the devil on this floor. Well, Dark Bomb is a great item. Please. Alright, lucky us. Dark Bomb is a great item. It's just, you know, it, it doesn't meaningfully impact our run right here. Alright, the chest. The moment of truth. Mi chesta su chesta. I hope that's not accidentally an incredibly, like, offensive Spanish slur or something like that. Flush, not good. Judas of Shadow, not important. Really gonna fuck up our rate of fire here, but also should... Uh, probably just bigger damage. Still. Okay, yeah, Rotten Baby. And the Mark, I'll take him. Because there's no reason not to take Flush, and no reason not to take Judas of Shadow. Unless we were expecting a Perthrow rune to show up, we might as well go with it. Thank you, Holy Mantle. Really long charge time for this, like, quad shot monstro's lung now. Which should not surprise you. But Rotten Baby's flies are really, they're like our principal damage dealer now, that's so funny. With Holy Mantle, I don't really care about fucking around with that room. There we go. Bomb Synergy? Maybe a Bomb Synergy payout? You can pay out with a Bomb Synergy. Um, that was not a Bomb Synergy. I really wish we got piercing shots, just so we didn't have knockback anymore. It's making it so hard to hit enemies multiple times with the same charge. I mean, they die in one hit mostly anyway, but... Y you're, you're following me on this one, I think. When we hit them, they bounce so far away that the other shots have a large tendency to miss, I think. Unless I'm missing some kind of subtle interaction. Well, then again, every time we hit with a shot, we spawn like 80 flies. So, you know, there is that working in our favor as well. Alright, no bosses. At least we can turn all the flies into poop. That makes my life about 2% easier here. Thank you, Flush. I don't want to get hit against a bunch of uh, husks and dukes of flies and whatnot. That doesn't feel good. More money. I guess we did get some luck downgrades, so... Maybe just one luck downgrade, so... I'm not fully convinced that we're going to get any more chests, but I really hope we do. I gotta hit once every room, otherwise we're, like, not maintaining our fly equilibrium. Hey, there we go. Okay, crank on those luck up pills. Get some cool synergies. Live life, drink milk, love life, drink... And that's an old Canadian milk ad. Miter, doctor's remote. Miter's pretty good, not that we need it. Um, doctor's remote is not. Might be better than flush, but flush is a little bit weirder, so I kind of have a little bit more of a... Tolerance for it right now. Well, oh, man. Really only took uh, th those two luck upgrade pills to really swing things in our favor here, huh? Apparently. Alright, good stuff. Easy. It's gotta be boss room. It is indeed. It didn't really have to be boss room, but I, I figured I'd try out the power of positive thinking, and it honestly seemed to work out pretty well there. Again, I hesitate to call this run unlosable, but come on. Come on. We just had Holy Mantle proc. Well, not proc, you know, activate. It's not a random occurrence. There you go. Easy run, fun run. Rerolled the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.